Hello everyone, I'm Chuck Shaver with Shaver Group at Keller Williams Heritage Realty. Today I will be doing a market update for the West Volusia area of Deland, Deltona, DeBerry and Orange City for the month ending June 2021. At the end of June, the median sale price in our area was $255,000. That's up 5.8% in the last three months and up 18% over the last year. That's a massive number. You'd think it's just maybe our little area. However, data says otherwise and that it's actually across the entire country. Sellers are still getting their asking prices. They're still getting as a median 100% of their asking price and the, their homes are selling in about five days. That really hasn't changed over the last month and it's about half of what it was 90 days ago where it had been since the fall. And even back then we were saying, wow, this is happening so fast. Number of active listings is 347, which is down um, in the last 90 days from 361 and down from 679 in the last year. What does that really mean? There just isn't much inventory out there. Buyers, pay attention. There isn't much to be, to be had if you wanna buy a home. So don't mess around with the sellers. Talk to your realtor, listen to them, listen to what, what they have to say. Interest rates currently are at 3.17%. That hasn't changed much in the last month. It was 3.13 back then. And it's down from 3.45% a year ago. However, it should be noted that that 3.45% was at or near the high uh, for that entire year. So I throw a bunch of silly numbers at you. What does it all mean? They're just data, just silly numbers. It means the market is still on fire, especially if you're a seller. If you're a seller, it's great to sell. Yes, it's a time to sell. However, if you sell, where are you gonna go? All this is being fueled by a few things. Number one, we still have no inventory. We still have uh, low interest rates and the unemployment is still low. I believe I spoke about it last month. There are a few factors that are impacting our market right now that could have an effect in the future. Forbearance is one of them. This could increase at the end of July if landlords decide to bail and dump those homes that they've been una un unable to evict tenants from because of the pandemic. Insurance companies are tightening requirements and they're making it more difficult for both buyers and sellers to close a deal. Those roofs from 2003, 2004, 2005 that were put on that still seem to be in good shape, well today insurance companies just aren't tolerating them and it's creating problems for us during the closing process. Summer is here, people are vacation, people are feeling good, people are starting to get back out. So in my mind, there's a general sense of confidence out there as we move on from the pandemic. Yes, there's still some concern, but in general, uh, I believe I saw at OIA the other day that the, the numbers were, uh, were fantastic, the best numbers they've seen since before the pandemic. So we know the market's on fire. What does that mean? Well, it's good, it's good for now. If you can sell now, what if you're not selling for three months, six months, a year from now? Um, who knows? The Case-Shiller Index, which is a measure of nationwide real estate data, indicates that prices are rising at the highest rate that they have since 2005 and, and that they show no evidence of slowing down. A University of Florida study said that in June, consumer confidence rose again, and they also say that there's no reason for things to slow down. It just seems that the reasons that the market is good are probably going to be so in the future. I believe that affordability is our biggest problem, um, just because a lot of people simply aren't gonna be able to afford a $325,000 home here in Deltona. Um, and I may be more pessimistic than, than others. I see the prices rising like crazy, and surely I'm, I'm part of that, as I'm trying to get the most I can for my sellers. Oftentimes I'm going well above the comparables in the area, which is surely a no-no, uh, but some of those homes are appraising. Uh, some are not, and if that happens, then, well, then you just have to go back to the facts and deal with that. But um, at this point, I do believe the market is strong. I believe it will continue. I believe that interest rates are going to have to slow sooner or later, and whenever that happens, it's going to have a, quite a bit of effect because buyers will be able to afford less home than they currently can. Should you have additional questions or would like more information about the real estate market here throughout Central Florida, subscribe or reach out to me directly. Thank you very much for watching.